Hey guys, I have a interesting new workout for you today. Um, so it's going to be a glider workout, which if you've ever heard of gliders, they're kind of like plate looking things that you can use to do all different types of exercises like sliding around and it definitely uh, challenges your muscles in a very interesting way. Um, so I don't expect most people to own gliders, I do not. So if you're going to be on a wood floor, you can use just little towels. I just have my little face towels that I wash my face with. I'm sure that's great for my face. Or you can use paper plates. If you happen to be doing this on carpet, they tend to slide really well on carpet. So really you just need something that slides around well on whatever surface you happen to be on because we're going to be doing some sliding and it's going to be fun. Also, um, fair warning, I was studying on campus today and they happen to have like all this free fried chicken and fried shrimp and just really unhealthy stuff. And of course, being a poor medical student, I packed like a Ziploc bag full of that fried goodness and took it home and ate it like an hour ago. Um, so, whew, yeah, it's gonna be a rough workout. Feeling it in my tum and hopefully it stays in my tum. But if I can do it on a full stomach of fried food, you can do it at your home right now. Okay, so. I got my little slider I'm gonna stand up and go to where you can see my head. <laughs> and I'm gonna put a glider under each one of my feet. See, so you can do all sorts of fun stuff here. Dance lesson. But we're not gonna do too much dancing because I don't think y'all wanna see me do that. <laughs> so basically what we're gonna do to warm up is just kinda get used to balancing on these gliders. Um, so one under each foot, we're just going to start with a basic lunge. So your front foot, you're going to keep your heel down on the ground so that you're nice and solid. The back foot is the one that I want to be able to glide, right? So you're going to take it back to a nice low lunge and then take it back up. Squeeze those thighs together. So take it down, squeeze it back up. This is our warm up, nice and easy. So you're driving that back knee down to the ground. Right angle in that front knee, making sure it's not going past your front toes. You can always see them. Down and up. Y'all, I needed this workout. I haven't posted a workout in a few weeks, and I feel really bad about that. I'm sorry. School has been a lot lately. It definitely picked up, and I think I am finding that I need to do these videos just to talk about my stress levels and my feelings. <laughs> so you can feel free to mute me if I start uh, sounding too whiny. I still love school, it's just, dang. Renal is no joke. Your kidneys do a lot. So I hope you're feeling this, run right, really nice and slow. Really the point of this move is to get comfortable with gliding around. Oh, another thing, I'm sorry if this video, we're going to switch lights. Sorry if this video seems a little, like, glitchy. I'm filming it with, this is embarrassing. I'm filming it using photo, photo booth on my computer because there's not enough room in my house with my phone to film it correctly and actually get all of my body in the shot. So, this is what you got. Also, I got a pre-workout before this workout by moving all of the furniture out of this room and setting up my lighting, which is still not ideal. <laughs> you should be starting to feel this, starting to feel his legs warming up a bit. Hands, you can have them here, you can have them on your hips. You could even start getting them going as if you're running, you want just a little bit extra shoulder work. This is also going to help your abs to drive up more too. Keep both sides even here. Do a few more. I'm feeling these. These feel good. And last one. All right, now we're going to do side lunges here. Get the inner thighs a bit. So same thing. We're going to just sink one leg out to the side, slide it back up. That drag back up is where you're really going to feel that inner thigh squeezing in. I don't like these with the glider. They feel kind of graceful and they're also tough. It's a really great stretch to on your way down. And don't really be afraid here that you're gonna 
slide too far down. If you have your, if you have your opposite heel nice and flat on the floor, you should be okay. Now that I said that, someone's gonna slide off the edge of the earth and sue me, but joke's on you. I'm just full of loans. One more here, and then we're actually gonna hold it out. So hold it down nice and low. You're like in a squat on the, the stable leg, and the other leg is nice and long, feeling a stretch on the inner thigh. And then what we're gonna do is make little circles. Ooh, yeah. Little circles. You're gonna feel this in the stabilizing leg, the glute. You feel it in the quad. And the other leg, this is really helping to open up that hip. And it's working muscles in your booty, inner and outer thigh. And we're gonna switch directions. Oh, that's weird. It feels weird. The first few circles going the other way. Does anyone else's hip pop? Mine is popping like crazy right now. Upper body is nice and straight. We're not leaning forward, squeezing those shoulder blades together. And we're gonna switch sides. So stay low here. And we're going out, squeeze it back in, zip the legs together. Out, squeeze it back in, zip the legs together. Nice little stretch. Surprised Olive is not trying to be in the middle of the shop today. She's actually on the couch like a good little girl taking a nap. Yeah. Good little girl. Oh, y'all, I am feeling that fried chicken. <sighs> My diet today has consisted of chocolate chip waffles, which were delicious. And I didn't eat anything. I went and studied on campus with a friend who drew out the nephron and talked about, hold it down here, circles, talked about kidneys and sodium and all that fun stuff. And then we cried a little bit. And then we went and got free food. And now I'm doing this. Another way. So right now we're learning about the renal system and the respiratory system. Actually, they're both really fascinating and they have a lot, um, they play a really big role in exercise actually, making sure that your acid-base balance is normal in your body at all times, of course, but during exercise there's special circumstances because your respiratory rate starts increasing to deliver more oxygen to all your muscles. Um, you have to breathe faster to blow out the extra CO2 that all your muscles are producing. Out. We're going to go down and do some planks. And you need to make sure that you're buffering the acid in the form of CO2 that you're producing. So it's this beautiful orchestrated thing of events that your body is able to do really well, actually. Like when you exercise, your body maintains just about the same pH that you normally have when you're just at rest. And also your, um, your oxygen consumption matches the exercises that you're doing so you really can, can exercise hard. That's enough. I don't want to talk anymore about that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a plank now. Notice I have the bad boys on my feet. So I'm going to come up into a plank and first I'm just going to hold it here. So this is just to warm it up. And if you feel like having these guys on your feet is scary or you don't feel comfortable with it, don't worry about it. You can just put them down and just hold a normal plank for a bit if you'd like. Otherwise, we are going to do a little bit of mountain climber. So I'm just gliding here. I'm scrubbing my floor. <laughs> up and down. And I want to pick up the pace a little bit here and get my heart rate increased. Make it a little more intense. Nice little runner. I really like these actually. The gliders almost make it both easier and more challenging, which you won't understand until you actually do it yourself. Give me four, three, two, one, hold it back. And then we're gonna come on up into a down dog or a pike here and then straighten it back out. Up into a pike and straighten it out. We are just going straight into this, guys. 
These are challenging. If you're not able to come all the way up into a plank, just give me a knee tuck, okay? Shoulders are firing up right now. Oh yeah, they are. I did this a few days ago to kind of test it out and make sure I didn't look like a total idiot when I filmed myself. Um, and I was sore, so hopefully you'll feel a little something too. All right, come on down. Curl out those wrists for a second. And since we're already down on the ground, why don't we start with abs today? Okay, okay, okay. So we're actually gonna start, I don't know, a little warm up with these underneath our hands. So, switching it up here. Um, I have a lighter under each hand. I'm gonna come into a plank. You can be down on your knees as well, right? You don't have to be in a full plank. You're gonna get the same, same benefits. And then you'll be able to work up to being on your feet one day. Olive, please don't do that. Um, so you're gonna come up on to your hands and then I want you to make a circle with one hand and a circle with the other hand. This is getting in to your shoulders, your upper back. Of course, your abs are working. Your legs are fired up here. And you're also gonna get a little bit of chest work as you pull that towel inwards. I don't even know what circles I'm going. I'm like, I feel like I'm alternating which direction I go each time. That's fine. You can circle backwards, you can circle forwards. You can do like a V8. I don't know why I said V8. I love V8 though, most people hate it. Do like a little figure eight infinity kind of sign here. And then you can go the opposite way. I don't know, just makes the time go by a little faster. I'm not painting a pretty picture. Whew. Abs are tucked in, tailbone slightly tucked under. We're not up here, we're not down here. We're nice and straight. Looking down at those hands, wax on, wax off. Just give me a few more. I know those wrists are probably starting to feel it. Three, two, and one. Quick break for that. Lie on your side, this one's called the mermaid. I don't know if it's actually called the mermaid. I feel like I've seen one person call it the mermaid. Really gets those obliques, okay? So you're gonna be sitting like a mermaid and you're gonna just slide your arm down and squeeze back up. So you're going to feel this in your obliques, side of your body here. And you're also gonna feel it in the shoulder and in the lats in your upper back as you squeeze everything back up. to fall over a little. Squeeze it up. And if you find that your bony part of your hip is kind of hurting on the, the ground, hard ground, you can always put a mat underneath you. My lord, my hair's crazy. Oof. I'm always like, oh, I'm gonna put makeup on. I'm gonna look so wonderful for these videos. And then I end up doing it after a long day of studying and not very much sleep. And after eating insanely salty, high fat foods that make me look bloated. But you know what? <laughs> Not here to look good. I'm here to make you guys feel good. <laughs> okay, give me one more. And come on up. You feel that in all of your arm too. It's kind of an interesting movement, especially since you have an extended elbow. It's interesting the muscles that you feel as you go in and out like that. Okay, before we do the other side, we're gonna do another little set of plank stuff. So, again, bladders are gonna be underneath your hands. And this time, what you're going to do is you're going to go forward and back. Forward and back. Just reaching as far forward as you can. Notice I'm not leaning my body forward. I'm keeping a nice straight line. And once you start to feel comfortable here, I want you to push up, out, push up, out. Sneaking in a little bit of chest work here. It's not really that sneaky. It's about as sneaky as a mom who sneaks broccoli into her kid's mac and cheese. Come on 
breathe out. Nice deep breaths here. And two more, one on each side. And come on down. Mermaids on the other side. Keep it even here. Okay, so we slide it out and you squeeze it back up. And squeeze it back up. These look so graceful. Keeping your shoulders back, legs together. Oh, one of our professors played the bagpipes yesterday. Our uh, pulmonology professor wanted to give us a real world example of lung function. He comes out with bagpipes and he was actually really good. Like, I don't think I've ever heard bagpipes and been happy to hear them. Usually it's a place where I want to escape if I'm in somewhere that sounds like bagpipes, but he was actually really good. I enjoyed it. It's the perks of going to class. Maybe four more. Feeling it in those arms yet? Kind of a weird feeling. Two, and last one, all the way up. Awesome. Okay, let's keep doing some abs. We're gonna pick it up a notch. These can be tough. Okay, you're gonna pull it once again. This time we're going under the feet, switching it up. <laughs> My floor is gonna be so clean after this. I should've put some like pledge on the bottom of this. We need more lemon pledge. Okay. We're gonna plank it out. And this time, we're gonna do a tuck. So both knees come in together, kick it back out. Then you're gonna open those legs up, close those legs, tuck. So it's two motions in one. You're gonna tuck, go to abduction, adduction, tuck. So we are getting into abs, we are getting into top of the thighs, we're getting inner, outer thighs here, and we are cleaning that floor. Out, in, tuck, out. You can speed it up a little if you'd like here. See how fast you can go. Stay in control. If you want a little more cardio. Let's do eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Little break. Then we're gonna go into a similar motion, but we're gonna do a little more twisting around, okay? Okay, when you're ready, those wrists are feeling okay. We'll put them back down. Oh, I forgot to mention, you can definitely do these on your forearms if you have problems with your wrist, or even if you just wanna switch it out. It really doesn't matter here. Being up in your hands gives you a little bit more movement for this next move we're gonna do, but, you know, it's up to you. Okay, where are we? We're coming into a plank. This time what you're gonna do is you're gonna take just one leg in. So I'm gonna take my left leg in, then I'm going to twist, kick it out to the right side, bring it back in, and kick it back straight. So in, twist, kick, we're alternating legs here. Really getting into those obliques. And I don't want to go, oh, I almost lost it, super fast here. Especially since this is definitely a challenging movement. If you're finding this to be really hard, you can be on your, oh yeah, you can be on your knees with one leg. You can bring it in. Oh, you have to be very flexible. You know what? You have to you have to do this on your hands, <laughs> or you can take a break and pause and just watch me suffer. <sighs> so guys, don't have a modification for this one. <sighs> Trying to be creative and inclusive, but uh, this is kind of an advanced move. Now next time you get your leg over, we're gonna take it out here, 
in, kick it out, in, kick it out. Give me four, three, two, one. Oh, baby, we got to do the other side. In, switch, out, bend, extend, bend, four, three, two, and one. Oh, awesome. Roll out those wrists. My computer just went black. I don't know if you're there. You see me? Oh, hi. <laughs> okay. We're not quite done with abs yet. A few more things we got to do. Um, this time, you might want to grab a mat. So I brought a mat that would be kind of close by. So this is going to be abs and arms. This is a cool move. I'm just going to double up my mat here so that my knees feel good. So you definitely have to be on your knees for this one. You're going to put the towels or plates or whatever slidey glidey thing you have underneath your hands. You're going to come out into a plank on your mat, or if you have supersonic knees, I guess you could do this on the floor, but that would hurt. And you're going to do a tricep push-up slash slide out with the other arm. So what that's going to look like, hands are right underneath the chest, is a tricep push-up, and you're going to reach out with the opposite arm. And then you're going to alternate. So same thing on the other side. Tricep push-up, reach out, glide up. Now these are tough. If anyone ever tells you push-ups on your knees are easy, they have clearly never tried this torturous push-up creation thing. Okay? Ooh, really gliding out. And as you glide out, you're going to have to really squeeze and push down on that towel. You're pushing down using that upper back as you come back up while you're doing a tricep push-up on the other side. So we are getting upper back, we are getting triceps, we are getting abs, and we are getting sick of this. A few more, maybe three more on each side. There's one. You want to make it easier, you just don't slide out quite as far. One more on each side, come on. Stay strong here. Oh. <laughs> All right, come on up. Run out those wrists. Those are good. Do a couple sets of those. Triceps are going to be looking mighty fine. Okay, get this out of here. Okay, one more ab move. One more ab move on the ground. Um, you are going to be. So this is arms and uh, abs and upper back kind of thing. You're going to be doing a crunch. You can be sitting on your mat if you like. I, I feel like it's kind of unnecessary. Again, underneath you get your little wipers. And you're going to do a sit-up. You're going to reach your arms way out to the side. And then you're going to squeeze them in as you sit up. So you're reaching the arms back to like a T position. And then sit up, squeeze together. So squeezing those shoulder blades together, you're going to feel a nice little burn in your upper back. You're going to feel a nice stretch down your biceps. And then, of course, your abs are doing quite a bit of work as well. If you want to make it a little harder, you can put those legs straight down on the ground. Squeeze it up. Let's do three more. Bet you've never done these before. Two. And one, we're gonna hold it up here. And while we're out, we might as well do some tricep dips, right? Come on up. And we're gonna dip it. Dip, dipity dip, dip and dots. What are happened to dip and dots? The dip and dots were so cool. Except I really liked them when they melted. So basically, I liked them when they were more like ice cream. Pulse, 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 Let's pulse right to left. Oh yeah, that's fancy. <laughs> left to right, to left, to right. Oh yeah, give me four, three, two, 
three, two, and one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Making so many weird noises today, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know why. <sighs> so the study you've been doing. All right, roll out those wrists. I guess we might as well just stay down on the ground and then finish standing. It makes everything easier. So while we're down here, and while your mat is close, you can kind of take it and fold it up halfway. You don't really need your whole mat. And we're gonna do a set of bridge maroos. Um, your thick lighters underneath your feet. So, uh-oh, trap. You're gonna sit on the edge of your mat. You're gonna come down on a nice little pillow. And then we are going to sit up into a bridge position and do alternating little marches here. So getting those hamstrings. We're gonna do a few of these and then I wanna challenge you to try to do both legs at the same time. Now I tried to do both legs at the same time uh, the other day and it was super hard. So I'm gonna see if maybe I can do them this time. If not, just keep doing this that we have here. All right, so I'm gonna try it. Both legs out, both legs in. OMG, y'all, these will get those hamstrings working. <sighs> Whew. Kick them out, kick them in. I'm only gonna do four more because these are tough stuff. Two more. Last one, and bring it in. Whew. Stretch it out. Yeah, those are good. Those are really good. Now what I want you to do is kind of put your legs out like a frog. Let me see what it's like. Come a little closer. You guys get like an awkward angle here, but I do want you to see what I'm doing with my legs. So I have my legs out, kind of in like a frog position, and then I'm going to kick them out, bring them in. Again, these are very tough. So if you need to be holding your butt for a little bit of support, that's gonna help. In fact, I, I suggest holding your butt for a little support so that you don't slide out too far. But this is gonna target the lateral part of your hamstrings. So your hamstrings are actually a group of muscles, it's not just one muscle. And this is gonna get the muscle on the lateral part. Oh yeah. Two more. Last one. And take it down. Just relax here like a frog for a second. Those are the kind of movements that you don't need to do too many of to really start feeling them and to feel them the next day. Let's be honest, that's a weird movement. That's not something that's really natural or that you're gonna be doing often. So it's probably something you're gonna feel the next day, which is good. And you're getting stronger in ways that you never even knew were possible. Okay. What's next? What's next? Let's stand up. I'm done with the ground. Okay. Get this out of the way. Dude, my hamstrings hurt already. <laughs> oh, okay. We're gonna come on up, I'm gonna back it up. Little stretch here. Very gentle, bending those knees. You can kind of massage out your hamstrings just a little bit. Oh yeah. I am gonna feel those tomorrow. And I want you to just slowly roll up. And you're going to take a glider under each feet. Foot. So we're kind of starting out where we were in the beginning now. What I want you to do is sit it back into a chair pose. You can have your arms out in front of you if you want a little extra, a little extra uh, challenge. You can have your hands on your hips. You can do, honestly, whatever you want with them. <laughs> Um, you're going to be sitting down nice and low, thighs are squeezing together here. Imagine if someone's trying to pull an out part and you're like, no, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really squeeze those knees together. And what you're going to do 
is run it back, run it forward, back and forward. Notice I'm not going up and down at all. My left leg is doing a lot of work stabilizing my body. My core is doing a lot of work, making sure that I'm not swaying back and forth or side to side. And my right leg gets to glide. It's the leg that's actually having the most fun right now. It's getting flushed out. And it's kind of fun to glide. I hope you guys agree. It's a cool little workout. <laughs> and now we're gonna pick it up a bit. So if you'd like to get running, running arms going here, never hurts. Your left leg should be feeling it. Mine is running it in. It's getting dark outside. I'm sure my neighbors can see me looking like a freak. Hello. Finally met my neighbors for the first time and been living here forever, several months. I should tell them to stop parking their truck right behind my driveway. Three, two, one, hold it down. We're gonna switch sides. Don't you dare stand up. Starting off a little bit slow and let you figure out if balance is different on this side. If there's any adjustments you might need to make. You can see what I look like. Okay, so see how I'm not going up and down. I'm not really even more moving forward or back at all. It's just that leg that's kicking back and driving forward to be back in line with that opposite knee. Let's pick it up a bit. I might see myself in the camera and my arm. It's not picking up how fast my arm is moving. I look ridiculous. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stay low. You come back to the front. Then you're gonna twist, twist, twist. Oh yeah. If anyone's gone skiing for spring break, these will help you with those moguls, right? Quick little twist, keeping those feet together. Imagine you had skis on. Keep those skis parallel. Oh yeah. This workout's for you, brother. My brother skis all the time. He's a great skier. He also happens to do all of my workouts. Thank you, bro. And this is for you. Hope your roommate doesn't walk into you into your room to you doing this. Actually, he'd probably do it with you. Tell him I say hello. Keep those skis parallel, guys, come on. Oh my God, I feel this. Inner thighs, outer thighs, glutes, abs. This is an awesome move. And I'm gonna look great next week when we have our med school dance. Someone's gonna be jealous of my awesome moves. Give me three, two, and one. Drop it low, pop it up. Whew, shake it out. Those are good. I actually just came up with those on the spot, so you're welcome, internet. <laughs> okay, I have another thing I wanted to do before we call it a day. Yes, okay. Curtsy lunges. We're almost done, guys, stick with me. <laughs> Curtsy lunges, we're gonna alternate. So you are going to take, let's start with the right leg. You're gonna take the right leg back behind your left leg, lunge it down, and come back up. Other side, and up. These really do feel like you're skating. If anyone happens to be good at ice skating, please comment and tell me that I'm Totally wrong. Also, I forgot to alternate. Let's not alternate. I kind of like this better. <sighs> really isolating that one leg. This is another one of those moves you're going to feel more in the stabilizing leg. Watch that front knee. Should not be going past your front toes. It's going to be going out to the side just a little bit, but it's not, be, it's not extending past the front toes. Let's hold it down here and pulse everybody's favorite for eight, seven. Just kind of kick it back. Four, three, two, one. Other side. Whew, kind of glide it out. And same thing here. Ooh, I'm feeling that fried catfish right about now. 
I was certainly consumed way too close to my exercise time. It was pretty good though. I haven't had fried catfish in a while. I have a friend who also is probably going to be doing these videos whose dad used to always fry fish. We'd make fish tacos and they'd invite over big groups of people. Good times. And they caught all their fish too. Fish for fish. So it was very fresh. Give me four, three, two. We're gonna pulse it down here. Don't forget the pulse. Six, five, four. Just kind of kick it. Two and one. Check it out. I'm juicy today, y'all. Okay. I am going to do one last move for you guys. This is going to be kind of a high intensity power move, cardio with the gliders. Eh, it'll be fun. It's going to be a glider burpee situation. Let me figure out where I can do these without killing myself. Okay. So you're going to start down in a glide position plank position, and you're actually going to do something called a, uh, oh, I think it's called a bear squat, something like that. I don't really know why. Um, bear crawl, bear squat crawl, bear crawl squat, huckleberry crawl squat. Um, it's kind of like a tuck, but instead of the movement originating from the abs as you come in, it's, it's going to be a squat. So you're kind of bringing the knees right underneath the hips. Imagine you were standing up and doing a squat. Exact same thing. Imagine you were standing on the wall with your hands against the wall, sliding down and doing a squat. It's the same motion except you're on the ground essentially. So knees are coming right underneath you like a squat and then you're kicking it out. So notice how this is different than this, right? So this is going to get into the quads. So you're going to come up into your squat, then you're going to kick it out, then you're gonna come up into a wide leg squat. Stand it up, you can do a jump if you want. I'm headless. And then you're gonna come back down, kick it out. So bear squat, back, wide leg squat, up. I'm actually not gonna jump because I'm scared. I'm gonna jump off of my towels and then glide back and eat it. Um, so I'm kind of doing like a fake jump. Still getting that heart rate up real good. I feel like I did a tuck instead of a bear squat, so really focus on the bear squat. Don't let the knees come past the navel. They're coming right underneath your hips. You're keeping those knees low too. Oh my gosh. Okay, three more. Two. Last one might be good. Yay. Cool. Okay, guys. What would a workout be without a stretch? And what would a gliding workout be without a gliding stretch? So, let's make this interesting. I want you to put the gliders in your feet. And then, you're going to glide it out. Reach for those toes. Bring them in. And butterfly. Glide it out. Reach. And butterfly. So this is an active stretch, it's not static. It's kind of function yours on a cool down. Kind of awkward to get my knees underneath my arms here. That was fun. I had fun. If anyone does this video, I hope you also had fun. If you come up with any other cool moves, let me know. I'm always looking for new ideas and I feel like I always have a lot of ideas and then I start filming myself and I'm like, eh. <laughs> yeah, let's do a little crunch. <laughs> All right, let's hold it here now. So if you do this and you just start like, I don't know, moving around some different way and you find some cool exercise that also feels safe, 
Hit me up, let me know. He's down to try new stuff. You smell good. All right. And let's take it out to one side. Hmm. This is gonna feel good for the hamstrings. That little froggy, froggy bridge hamstring situation. That was good. I hope you guys felt that and I hope you also felt safe doing that. It's a kind of a scary one. I like to hold my stretches for a long time. My uh, neuro professor in undergrad had us read this one paper that said stretches are most effective if you hold them for at least 30 seconds, which is a lot longer than most people hold their stretches. And that's what really helps the muscles to relax, helps the neurons stop firing so crazily, telling you it hurts, kind of letting your body grow accustomed to the position and just give in to it. I'm kind of trying to twist over a bit too so I get a nice stretch in my lower back. We didn't do too much for the low back today. So make sure that you really stretch out those abs well. Oh, the princess dog made a nest on the couch out of my nice blanket. Come here, little girl. You've been avoiding the camera today. You camera shy? Lean a little deeper, kind of reach for the outside edge of that foot with your opposite arm. That's where you're going to feel the nice stretch down your obliques and your low back. If anyone has any requests for exercises or types of exercises they'd like to see, shoot me a message. I, like I said, I am so busy with school right now that um, my creativity levels have not been very high in terms of designing exercise programs. Um, so spark, spark my interest in something by telling me what you want more of, what kind of exercise videos you like to follow along with. Alrighty. Let's do an on the floor stretch here. We've got our gliders again, right? So we're gonna take one leg back, Take the other leg forward, we got a nice low lunge. And then take this knee in, other side goes back. Hold for a few seconds. And it comes in, opposite side. And fleshing out those quads. And one more on the other side. Awesome work, guys. Real quick for the abs. Oi. Let's do something with our gliders because they're here. It's kind of fun. I'm gonna stretch those legs out long in front of us. Take the arms back like a T, and this time just let yourself fall all the way down, nice and controlled. Let's take the arms up as high as you can. Using the gliders and then take them down. A little uh, snow angel motion here. Bringing back some mobility into the shoulders, working those lats as you bring them down. A lot of times when I find after an exercise, if I lie flat on my back like this, my lower back really feels it. it just feels so tight like i've been holding all of my tension from the workout and the day just to the base of my spine and it can kind of hurt and distract me so i'm trying to distract myself by doing pretty little snow angels and i want you to tuck your feet underneath you just pull up into a nice gentle bridge little counter stretch for the low back and the abs here down 
and flop it on over to the other side. Really quick, you can either do a little baby cobra here, or you can come up into a full cobra if you feel comfortable with that. For the abs, you kind of, again, rotate out those arms here. It feels good. Stretch out the chest just a little bit. And we are done. Awesome job today, guys. I hope that you tried something new, pushed yourself out of your comfort zone, and discovered a new tool that you can use to stay fit.